an admin, you know how exhausting it can be to get all those desktops set up and ready for users. Unless you've already automated the process, you have to install the operating system, install the necessary applications, and do any other post-install configurations. That can take a good deal of your time. Time which could be better served doing more important things like securing your network. If you happen to deploy Fedora desktops, a Fedora admin by the name of Tobias has created a post-install script that takes care of much of the work for you. What does this script do? Refreshes available packages from the repositories, adds the free and optionally non-free RPM Fusion repositories, updates the system, and installs a large number of software packages. Even better, because this is open source, you can download and edit the script to perfectly fit your needs. I'm going to walk you through the process of using this script on Fedora 29. The first thing to do is download the necessary script. To do that, you must first install wget and nano. Open a terminal window and issue the command sudo dnf install wget nano y. Once wget installs, download the script with the command wget https colon forward slash forward slash git dot furworks dot de forward slash tobias forward slash fedora dash install forward slash raw forward slash branch forward slash master forward slash install dot sh with the script saved open it for viewing and editing with the command nano install dot sh after picking through the script and editing as needed save the file and give it executable permissions with the command chmod u plus x install dot sh to install only free software the command would be dot forward slash install dot sh to include the non-free software options, the command would be dot forward slash install dot sh space dash dash non-free. When the script completes, you can reboot your desktop and it's ready to go. If you've customized the script to fit your company needs, that desktop should be all set up for a user to log in and start working. Congratulations. Getting those Fedora desktop machines prepped for users is now considerably more efficient.